Hi everyone and happy Friday. I hope you're enjoying your day so far and I hope this week has treated you well. I am still trying to keep my voice um, pretty low. I hope you can hear me, but I don't want my microphone to do the buzzing loud thing that it likes to do these days. Um, so hopefully this isn't too quiet. So today we're doing our Friday reading. We're going to be using the Sacred Rebel Oracle and then we're going to pull a few more cards from the Gilded Tarot just to see kind of any other messages that are there for you. And then we're going to pull your weekend energy. Like I said in yesterday's video, after this coming week, so after the, I guess, end of June, I want to start trying something new with the channel that's going to kind of just kind of take the load off for me because doing everyday videos as much as I do love it and I do appreciate the experience of it and the ability or I guess the mandate to meditate every day which has been really really positive for me I think um, but it also can be a little bit stressful trying to get videos out every day and I know no one is requiring me to do this but my soul feels that I need to do tarot and I need to share it with people and hopefully reach people and help people in some way. However, the way that I've been doing it has not been as sustainable as I would like. I have been doing it for almost a year in this way every day and or Monday to Friday. Um, so I think we're going to be trying something a little bit different. I think we're going to go back to some weekly things but I, I think you'll like what's coming. I hope so anyway. In any case, today is the reading for Friday, June 21st, 2019. For those of you who are practicing pagans, especially Wiccans, this is Litha or the summer solstice. This is the day when the sun is out longer, um, the longest day of the year of daylight. And it's usually pretty warm. Today has been really nice. So it's living up to that energy here in New York. I hope wherever you are, it's also a pleasant solstice, especially, I guess, on this hemisphere. In the other hemisphere, I guess, it's the winter solstice, um, the southern hemisphere. So take a deep breath. Get yourself ready to receive the messages that are coming for you. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So for whoever this reading is meant for, for this day, Friday, June 21st, this summer solstice, this long day, this welcoming back of the summer, what messages do we have for whoever is here to receive them for this day, June 21st, 2019? What is the summer solstice message for whoever this reading is meant for, for this day? June 19th, 2019, please, and thank June 19th, June 21st, wow, going back in time, 2019, please, and thank you, from our higher selves, and through these cards, what is the message for this summer solstice, for whoever is here to receive it, today? You have Be the Hunter, Not the Hunted, and then underneath is Pandora's Gift, and Beyond the Mind, the Heart Beats. And I'm only looking at those because they seem to want to come up while I was pulling this one. Be the Hunter, Not the Hunted, okay? So this is a day to seek out knowledge, seek out um, organization, seek out, um, you know, discipline for yourself instead of waiting for something to come to you instead of waiting to learn something waiting to understand something or to start a practice um, this is telling you to seek out the knowledge that you need to be able to start on your own um, and then again there's that energy of discipline with that number eight there so there's this kind of this very strong i this is very strong pull to direct yourself I guess if that makes sense, to kind of lead yourself, choose the path that you want to take, lead yourself on that path, learn everything you need to do to take that path, and don't necessarily wait for a mentor. Yes, it's always good to have a mentor, and it's good to um, learn from other people and learn from other sources that or have people teach you and have knowledge come to you and be open to that knowledge but today is a day for you to actually seek out the understanding of whatever it is and i think since we got pandora's gift and the beyond the mind the heart beats something whatever it is you're looking for it's something that has to do with your kind of 
life's desires your goals the things that you're trying to do and while you're getting organized and you're being disciplined and logical about this also know that whatever it is you're doing it's something that you're being pulled to do it's something your heart is telling you needs to be done and it's something that you're going to realize is going to bring a lot more comfort a lot more benefit to your life um, a lot more abundance because we do have pandora's gift which tells me that whatever it is it's something um that maybe seems tough maybe seems a little bit difficult but it's going to turn out for the best for you um and because we have behind the mind the heart beats that tells me whatever it is it's going to be for the best for you because it's it's something that's connected to your heart or connected to your spiritual desires okay so let's see if we can get a little more information from the gilded tarot so Please tell us more about this overall energy for Friday, June 21st, 2019. Any other messages that need to be received on this day for whoever this reading is meant for? Whoever is here to receive it, please tell us what are the other messages for them on this day, Friday, June 21st, 2019. What do they need to know for this Friday? Please and thank you. So you have Page of Swords, you have Nine of Swords, okay, so this is some very heady energy, Ten of Cups, interesting, um, then you have Strength, followed by Death, I'm going to pull one more card, followed by the Three of Wands, and, okay, and underneath that was the Page of Wands, just because I peeked. So... Yeah, I think you're taking on some sort of new psychological endeavor or like a new practice, a new goal um, that you're trying to achieve. You're starting something new. You're maybe not sure that you're actually as ready as you want to be. Um, like you've done all the research, you've done, you know, a lot of the basic steps, but there's something in you that's still, still really just not ready to move forward. Either you're feeling anxious about it or you're just scared of what you could find out or what could happen because, again, we have that owl there just kind waiting to give you some some knowledge waiting to to help you understand your situation but you're you're scared you're frightened you're you're holding back for whatever reason and it could be because you're just very comfortable in your life right now and this new endeavor might upset that it might change the path that you're on and you're like very worried because as you are you're you're pretty fulfilled with your life or you're craving fulfillment um in your life in a specific area of your life so either you are at this place where you're feeling you know that if you start this new journey you're feeling this anxiety because if you start this new journey you could things things are definitely going to change and that's frightening for you and you don't really want to leave this comfortable place you're in or you're not necessarily in the most comfortable place and you're hoping for one but you're still again with this nine of swords you're still kind of living in fear um and I think once you're able to break out of that fear, you will find that fulfillment you're looking for. Um, but you do need to rely on your own internal power. You need to rely on your own strength. And I think, again, that's what we have with that. Be the hunter, not the hunted. Okay, so you can't wait for someone to break you out of your cage. You can't wait for someone to send you to, to fix your problem or to put you in that place where you're comforted, where you have that Ten of Cups energy. Um, it's about you. You have to guide yourself and you have to be strong enough to push yourself into this change. And there's definite change coming for you it's absolutely um going to be that you something in your life is about to go away it's about to end and again we have that ending with the ten of cups and it might be that comfort that you're experiencing that you're really afraid of losing um, because 10 is a the number of endings and then of course we have death which is another tell thing that's telling me that there's an ending coming and so is the three of wands um so there's a change something is about to end in your life and you're about to start a new journey whether like you don't necessarily feel prepared for this journey but you are you're very much prepared and i think you are ready to go i think you just have to let go of whatever this fear is that's keeping you from from um breaking free and moving forward i think this is a matter of you being strong enough to 
take the change as it comes and you being strong enough to guide yourself on your own path to say, okay, I know where I want to go. This is, you're basically having to navigate your next steps. And in that navigation, you're also letting go of a lot of things, whatever it is that's bringing this anxiety and this fear. Um, you're about to have to just push yourself through that and overcome it regardless of how comfortable you are now. Um, you really are going to have to take the time and have the strength to push yourself and bring yourself through because this change is coming and I think you are moving towards a very positive outcome because these two cards they mean a lot of the same things they both have symbols of hope um, after the storm or after the change um, so you're going to be going on this journey to I think I think towards more fulfillment like the way you are now you're content but i don't know if you're really fulfilled and i think you're going to be going on this journey towards finding that fulfillment um even though that's going to upset some things that you're experiencing right at this moment okay so that's your reading for friday june 21st 2019 and i am going to pull another card or two for saturday and sunday so what is your energy for whoever this reading is meant for for the days of Saturday and Sunday, June 22nd and June 23rd, 2019, please and thank you for whoever this reading is meant for. What messages do we have for them to take with them this Saturday and Sunday as we work through this solstice energy, this change energy? What messages should they have and carry with them this weekend? Please and thank you from my higher self to theirs and theirs to mine and through me and through these cards. What is the message for them to take with them on this day for this weekend, June 22nd and June 23rd, 2019? Thank you. Whoa, okay. So... You have softly, softly the tender touch, but a few of these cards tried to come out. And so I'm just going to pull one of these to see if there's something that needed to be known. So I did, I know I said I was just going to pull one of them, but then I ended up looking at all three of them. Um, so you have Diving to Light, Sacred Fool, and Come to Life. Right, so I think this weekend, um, basically you're going to be spending your time trying, or you should be spending your time, I don't know what you're going to be doing, but you should be spending your time um, really figuring out what it is that 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 sparks that light in you and what it is that you're actually hunting so you got softly softly the tender touch which is what i pulled first and i think when you're figuring that out i think the message here is not to try to force anything out of yourself this weekend um not like you're going after something you're on the hunt you're ready to start something new and yes you do have to push yourself through fear but Pushing yourself doesn't have to be like full-on aggression. It doesn't have to be an act of violence towards yourself. And I do think that if you are gentle, you will find that parts of you are waking up, parts of you are becoming more aware of, of just what feels comfortable, what feels good, what feels like you, like you're living the life you're supposed to be living. And you're going to find a lot of positivity in that. And then the Sacred Fool is asking you to be careful of trying to manipulate the situation too much or having someone else try to manipulate the situation for you, like someone trying to tell you how you're supposed to feel or what you're supposed to do or where you're supposed to go. Um, really, really ask yourself, you know, if I take that path, if I go in that direction, is that actually right for me? Is that right for my soul? Or am I just doing it because someone told me to do it or something outside of me told me this was, was supposed to be done? Um, and then in the same way, try not to be a super control freak about the situation, you know, like accept that you can't ha you can't control every single thing, but you can control how you respond and you can control um, what you want out of it. Whether you get that or not is another thing, but you can absolutely control what you want out of it and your actions should reflect 
your your desires there and I think with diving for light I think it's asking you to ask yourself what is it that you're looking for and what is it that you're hunting for what knowledge is it that you're trying to gain and how can you gain that and what does that do for you when you gain that knowledge um, and how can you you know just kind of go through this situation gain gather that knowledge hunt down that new beginning start that new path that we saw with that um, page of swords and that three of wands start that new journey and let go of the things that aren't serving you how can you do that without being um without trying to control the situation without be having an iron fist about it okay so really think about that this weekend that is your message for friday saturday and sunday thank you so so very much for being here i am looking forward to seeing you on monday and really really looking forward to showing you the new things that we're bringing and looking forward to also getting a new camera um very soon so that we can have we can get rid of this fuzzy sound that I'm sure is still going to be picked up even though I'm talking as quietly as I can without flat out whispering we are not doing ASMR tarot this week thank you again so much for being here I will see you next week remember always 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 from the bottom of my heart that I love you all the time forever Te uh, message me under the video comments send me messages on facebook text me if you have my number i love you i'll see you monday have a beautiful weekend bye